You have probably heard that the new budget proposed by California Governor Jerry Brown would eliminate redevelopment agencies throughout the state, including Morgan Hill's agency. The governor's proposal lacks details but puts RDA projects at risk. This will have a devastating impact on the city. The governor poses a false choice when he asks Californians either to invest in their local communities through redevelopment or improve schools and strengthen the social safety net. We can and must do both. How does this impact Morgan Hill's quality of life? Today, Morgan Hill has 40,000 Californians. Half of us were not here 10 years ago. What has happened over that time to attract new residents and new business? A lot, including a thoughtful program of investment in new public facilities, new roads and infrastructure, elimination of blight, affordable workforce housing, and even a more vibrant downtown. Morgan Hill is a better place because of redevelopment. In fact, it's hard to imagine the quality of our community life without redevelopment. Remember the old library at the location of the new Development Services Center? When the old crowded library needed to expand, the RDA stepped up. A modern new library was built, which is now the pride of the community. Would we want to go back to the, let us say, less picturesque and less useful? property behind City Hall. When the community visioning process of the 1990s called for new cultural, recreational, and meeting spaces, the RDA stepped up. Morgan Hills community facilities represent the spirit of the city, providing both social and development programs and fun activities for residents, young and old. A new community recreation center was built on Edmondson Avenue next to the community park and the response from the community has been overwhelming. The CRC houses an indoor pool, exercise equipment, and has been the home of Morgan Hills Senior Center. Would we want to go back? Before the CRC was built, where the land was used as a, let's say, a more scaled down recreational facility. Besides the indoor facility, when the outdoor recreation facilities needed to be upgraded, the RDA stepped up. A new aquatic center was created on Condit Road, which is not only a recreational haven on those hot days, but is also a home of an Olympic-sized pool for swim beats. It was said, if we build it, they will come. Well, they did. Without the RDA, would we want to go back to this field of weeds? Right next to the aquatic center is the outdoor sports complex. When upgrades were needed, the RDA stepped up. Artificial and natural turf fields are now available. The center continues to be the home of local and regional tournaments, bringing outside visitors to Morgan Hill businesses. Would we want to go back to that outdoor complex before the RDA supported improvements. When Caltrans would not invest in improving traffic flow at two major freeway interchanges, the RDA stepped up. The Dunn Avenue interchange is completed and the Tennant Avenue interchange opening is imminent. Our RDA has also built roads throughout the community, eliminating bottlenecks to improve traffic flow and access to business. Butterfield Boulevard from Tennant to Cochrane was built by the RDA. Now if the RDA is eliminated, the extension of Butterfield Boulevard south to connect to Wasserville Road is in jeopardy. Imagine the traffic on Monterey Road without Butterfield. Additionally, do you miss traveling to the courthouse portables in San Martin or fighting the traffic to the courthouses in downtown San Jose? To assist in the relocation of the courthouse to Butterfield Boulevard, the RDA stepped up. When the Morgan Hill Business Ranch was a fledging industrial park, 
our RDA stepped up and enticed Abbott Labs, now known as Hospira, to come to town, thus creating a catalyst for the growth of the business park. Today, the Morgan Hill Business Ranch is the fourth largest business complex in the Silicon Valley. The Granary Project is another RDA success story. This innovative project converted a former derelict granary into a 14,000 square foot green retail and office building. Future plans for the site include construction of 12 for sale condominiums. This adaptive reuse project received the 2006 Award of Excellence from the California Redevelopment Association. When private property owners would not help people living in slums consisting of substandard dilapidated trailers and homes on or near Monterey Road, the RDA stepped up. In place of squalid conditions, dozens of families now have safe, decent housing in developments that include affordable rentals, single-family homes, and commercial space. RDA housing activities created over 1,200 units of workforce housing. It rehabilitated 1,200 units, preserved 166 mobile home units, administers over 500 below market rate ownership units, and has funded 44 down payment assistance loans. When the visioning process envisioned a community and cultural center, the RDA stepped up. The community and cultural center is a gathering place for classes, meetings, special events, and outdoor concerts. The beautifully restored playhouse provides an architectural backdrop for the arts. Additionally, historic preservation of the old Morgan Hill Elementary School would not have happened without RDA investment. Over 70 businesses and properties, primarily in the downtown, have benefited from RDA programs. The RDA has financed historical preservation and helped small business expand and make improvements. Losing redevelopment in Morgan Hill will end the progress of revitalizing downtown and improving transportation access. Projects such as flood control, parking, new retail, and entertainment will come to a stop. No, I don't think we'll miss the annual transformation of Monterey Street to Monterey Creek. It is not just the investment in Morgan Hill's quality of life that's at risk. The RD additionally supports annual road resurfacing, economic revitalization, and public safety. Losing redevelopment will mean losing the major source of investment in making Morgan Hill an exceptional community. From providing space for exercise and fitness to daycare, from community gathering and education to senior nutrition, we've partnered with schools, youth sports, public safety, and others to create an outstanding quality of life that we enjoy and have come to expect. If we are to continue to invest in a vibrant and successful community, Morgan Hill needs the RDA. Now, should you believe the governor should find another way and not cut RDA, please go to www.savemorganhillrda.com to send your elected state representatives, State Assemblyman Bill Monning and State Senator Sam Blakesley, an email voicing your concerns.